Hey y'all. It has been so rainy. And they're telling me more more today. So I had to move my dryer that I had hanging up in here, my herb dryer, into the house because it's just so damp. I, I my herbs aren't drying. Probably gonna have to move these shallots and onions too find some place for them in the house because things just aren't when it's this this wet it things just don't dry um for the most part the garden's loving all the wet <laughs> i'm not but the garden is flowers are looking good little spider there Let's see if i can focus you on him here we are, little spider. Corn is, it's trying to deal with all the wet. I hope I don't lose my, my ears of corn because of all the moisture. Um, yeah, just, you just have to deal with things, I guess. I'm seeing a few little tiny beans on these. Of course, nothing's really gotten big enough for me to pick yet. But, um, hopefully soon. Generally, it takes a, at least a week for the beans to actually grow once they... See, there's a little tiny one right there. So, it should be another week or so before I can even pick anything. I see a few... Looks like there's a few up in there somewhere. I don't see any blooms on the rattlesnake pole beans yet, but boy, have they ever taken off over this. Oh, this trellis and winding together up there. I picked a couple of okra. Um, so it's just starting to come on. I'll go over and we'll just go over and look now. Oh goodness. These beans just keep trying to come out here in my walkway and I don't have a lot of walkway as it is so it's a matter of them coming out here and me poking them back in <laughs> so let's see here there's an okra here and I see one back there another little one there and a little one over here over here. Uh, there's a little one there. And looks like there's a, well, if I can get you right around the leaves, there's, there we go. <laughs> some little ones down in there on that one. And I see some over here on these and some blooms and stuff. So yeah, the okra is coming on slowly but surely. Looks like I've got a little bit of leaf miner damage going on here. Prop this one up so hopefully the rest of it will grow a little bit straighter. Not really seeing, I mean there's some buds on the red okras but I don't see any actual okra yet. More blooms over here in the sunflowers. And the zinnias are blooming down there. There's a sunflower over here I've, I've um, propped up. I did notice, I noticed this last night. There is, there's a squash. <laughs> that's, that's a female blossom there. So hopefully she pollinated. It's the only one I've seen so far, but you know, it's really hard to get down in here, in here and look. It's just, it's a jungle in here. So, but the buds over there on the Italian white sunflowers and stuff. So, actually, I didn't come out here to give you a garden tour. <laughs> just things kind of, um, things kind of, um, caught my eye and I got distracted. Mostly, I come out here to talk to you about 
about my move. Get the chair off there, brushed off, have a sit in my greenhouse and enjoy all the lovely in here. But, um, let me turn the camera around and talk to you for a minute. So, I'm in the midst of trying to figure out the logistics of my move. And I'm, some of the things I know I'll be able to move easily. I mean, like the green stalks, they come apart. All my little pots and stuff are pretty small. But, you know, the four big stock tanks that I used for a raised bed gardening, I've yet to figure out how to move those. I don't think they'll fit in my car. So, and, and my car does not have a hitch on it, so I can't move them with the trailer. Um, I I know I can take all the soil out and put them into into uh, grow bags and stuff. A little moth on mine. I don't like being crawled up by insects. <laughs> um, but y you know how expensive soil is. If you do any gardening at all, you know how expensive soil is. So I don't really want to run off and leave all my soil and the big tanks that I've spent so much money on. Uh, so, yeah. So there's logistics to figure out. And um, it's a long trip. It's, it's a good four hours each way, which doesn't leave a lot of time down there to do anything. I don't drive so well at night anymore. Um, I'm going to have a birthday here pretty quick, uh, June, January, July 2nd, and I'll be 60. And you add in the lupus, and energy is something um, I have in little spurts. So you do a four-hour trip down, and then you take a break, and you maybe have an hour or two's worth of work that you can do down there with little breaks in between, and then it's four hours back. And oh my goodness, that's um, that's a long day for me. And then I have to take a couple of days off afterwards and just uh, sleep and and not do much of anything. So. Uh, It will get done. I know it will. I, I, I have faith and I know in my heart that I'll get down there in October. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. <laughs> so, anyhow, that was the biggest thing I wanted to talk to you about. But uh, let me turn it back around here and so, because I enjoy looking at my garden. I just love all the bachelor buttons and. If I can zoom you in on there, showing you different snapdragons and bachelor buttons and um, marigolds and calendulas. Of course, the dahlias down here that are just gorgeous. And the rain is just beating them down. Look at that. It, I, I'm not sure what to do. And, and, and the, look at the pot down, or the tray it's sitting in, full of water. I normally, you know, water it and then I let it dry up and then I'll give it some more water. But, uh, yeah, the rain hasn't cooperated with that. Celery doesn't mind. <laughs> Celery looks happy. So, anyway, I just, you know, kind of giving my thoughts here and trying to figure things out. Sharing a little bit of my garden. And enjoying my garden outside it's it's still warm and uh like i said it's gonna be raining it's supposed to rain some more tonight maybe tomorrow so uh no end in sight just yet Ugh. and it just makes for a soggy time <laughs> so um if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and uh Comment, like, share my videos, help me grow my channel. And um, if you prefer shorter little videos that are posted daily, um, I have a TikTok under Mary's Container Garden. 
and um, this is my hobby here my gardening and posting videos because I love to share my garden and growing things with everyone and and hope I can influence someone to do some gardening too uh, because gardening makes me happy it uh, it helps me through depressing times it helps me through um, times when I'm hurting both mentally and physically and um, I always I always tell people you know even if it's nothing more than a pot in a windowsill grow something you know have something green in your life so I'll talk to y'all later.